next if you long for a way to beat traffic jams and travel disruption how about this for the ultimate way to get around a jetpack really here's martin stew bored of your normal commute well there can't be many more exciting ways to get to work than this it's the world's only jet engine jetpack powered by mini versions of what you'd find on a jumbo jet it's still in testing phase so it's just 120 foot above the thames this morning in time, it should be able to fly 100 miles per hour to 10,000 feet. One of its designers was the man behind perhaps the most famous jetpack in history. Bond's pack in Thunderball was rocket powered and could only fly for 20 seconds. This modern version should be able to do 12 kilometers. So we've got twin turbine engine. But the pilot and entrepreneur behind the project it's been a life's work. I don't know where, when it started, you know, shows like Thunderball, James Bond, uh, Lost in Space with the rocket belt, the old technology, the hydrogen peroxide technology. I think that just put something in my brain when I was young. So what's it like to fly? You run up the engines and just slowly accelerate and the ground just disappears. And it's, it's really gentle. You really don't need to control it. You just think it and it, it happens as part of your body. At a projected £200,000, they're for now being marketed at the super rich and military. But David believes in time, the price will come down. Four years after the Wright brothers made their first flight, there was something like 50 aircraft company in the world. This whole space is about to explode. With a tank full of kerosene on his back, I hope he's not talking literally. Last question. Can I try it on? Come on. David is now trying to crowdfund £300,000 to develop a parachute system which will allow him to sell it to the likes of you and me. Now what happens if I press this red button? No, don't press the red button. <laughs> As the parachute isn't up and running yet, I'm more than happy to let David do the flying.